para naman talagang mas maganda ang pasok ng topic sa ating yes. brain. Kasi sabi nga nila, Ma'am Kati, kapag relax na relax ka, masaya ang kalooban mo, marerelax ang utak mo, mas madali mong matatandaan yung mga bagay-bagay na dapat yes. mong matatunan. Okay, so what are we waiting for? Makinig sa ating RBI. And see you after 30 minutes, students. Bye, see you later. Wala nang makakapigil pa. Sulo, Arangkada, 106.3 Dance Radio. Dance Radio sa Aurora, Isabela. Edukasyo'y susulong, basta na magtulong-tulong, susulong ito kalitan. Dance Radio. Technology and Livelihood Education TLE Learning Area TLE Learning Area Automotive, Automotive Servicing, servicing. Beauty care, electronic products assembly and servicing, cookery, electrical installation and maintenance, dress making, computer system servicing, malay show pagkabuhayan, eto pa show teknolohikal, matutong hayan dito sa. 106.3 Dance Radio TLE Learning Area Technology and Livelihood Education Learn and Earn A blessed day everyone! I am glad to be with you in this 30-minute broadcast. I am Teacher Catherine S. Galingana, and I will be a radio teacher for today. Make sure that you are comfortably seated while listening. Prepare all the needed materials like pen, learning activity sheets, and paper because you will be having an enjoyable lesson for today. Let us start the day right by this Bible verse from the book of Psalms chapter 32 verse 8 and I quote, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. Before we begin, let us have a review of our past lesson. What was our previous lesson all about? Our last lesson was about the workbook, worksheet, how to save a workbook, how to rename a worksheet, and how to resize the columns and rows of a worksheet, ma'am. Wow! You still remember our topic. Will you differentiate workbook and worksheet? Worksheet is composed of cells. It is arranged in rows and columns while workbook contains worksheets. One workbook can contain a lot of worksheets. You are right! information about our last topic? Ma'am, in the Microsoft Excel, you can resize the column width and row height by dragging the mouse in between row and column headings. You are correct! Microsoft Excel is an example of spreadsheet. It is composed of rows and columns. The working area of Microsoft Excel is called cells. You can add insert and rename worksheets. The collection of worksheets is called workbook. It has only one file name, but it has a lot of worksheets inside with different names. Today, we are going to define chart, identify the different chart types, and different elements of charts and discuss the different options in formatting inserted chart. Wow! It sounds interesting, Mom! Yes! This topic is really interesting because 
we will discuss one by one the different types and uses of charts. I'm so excited to hear those things, ma'am. For you to know more about our lesson today, I want you to go over your learning activity sheets on page one, titled, Background Information for Learners. We will be answering some questions about our lesson. Are you familiar with SWS survey, my dear learners? Yes, mom. It means social weather stations. They are the ones always making surveys about many things like those conducted before the election. Very good. How about the NSO or the National Statistics Office? Ma'am, this is a government agency that surveys about our population. Yes, you are correct. You both mentioned the word survey. What happens after their survey? They usually present the result of their survey in the television, ma'am. Very good. How do they present the result? They present the result of the survey by using a chart, ma'am. Correct. They are presenting the result of the survey through a chart. Today, we will discuss the elements of a chart and how to insert it in the worksheet. We will start it after the short break. Pangarap? Droga? Droga? Pangarap? Pumili ka. Isa lang. Dahil kapag nag-droga ka, pangarap mo'y walang halaga. Pamilya? Droga? Droga? Pamilya? Pumili ka. Isa lang. Dahil kapag nag-droga ka, kinabukasan ng pamilya'y wasak na. Buhay? Droga? Droga? Buhay? Pumili ka. Isa lang. Pero pag nag-droga ka, buhay mo parang tinapos mo na. Huwag gawin ang isang bagay na pagsisisihan. Isang paalala mula sa Doña Aurora National High School at nang himpilang ito. Kayo'y nakikinig sa TLE Grade 7. Kasama si Teacher Catherine S. Galingkana. I'm back! I think you are done reading the background information for learners. Now, let me ask you, what is a chart? Ma'am, a chart is a visual representation of data from a worksheet that can bring more understanding to the data by just looking at the numbers. Your answer is correct. When we say chart, it is a graphical representation of data. Why is it called a graphical representation? Ma'am, because in the chart, it is not only the data or number that you can see, but also different shapes, colors, and labels. Yes, what else? Ma'am, those shapes and colors are all related to the data or they all represent the data. Perfect! that allows you to visually display data in a variety of different chart formats. And also, according to Wikipedia, a chart can represent tabular numeric data, functions or some kinds of quality structure, and provides different information. Have you observed that there are many types of chart? Yes, ma'am! Why did you say so? Ma'am, because I can see a lot of styles when they present data or information like a circle shape, a rectangular shape, and lines only. Wow! You are really observing a lot, my dear learners. There are different types of charts. 
These charts are all offered by Microsoft Excel. All you have to do is choose based on your preference or it also depends on the type of data that you will present. Sounds interesting, Mom. All right, let us start the ball rolling. In Microsoft Excel, there are many types of chart that you can use in your presentation. Can you name one? Column charts, Mom. Column charts are typically used to compare several items in a specific range of values. I have seen this in the news, ma'am. They use it to represent the COVID cases. Excellent answer. Yes, they already use this to present our current cases of COVID in our country because it is easy to compare. The next chart type is line chart. What is a line chart? This type of chart is similar to the normal X and Y graph, ma'am. Yes, that is true. What else? The line chart shows the trend of the changes in the data over period of time at even interval. Very good. The line graph comprises of two axes known as x-axis and y-axis. The horizontal axis is known as the x-axis. This chart can also be used on any time frame, but most often used in the day-to-day -day price changes. Can you name another type of chart and explain briefly? Ma'am, a pie chart is a type of graph that displays data in a circular graph. The pieces of the graph are proportional to the fraction of the whole in its category. Awesome answer! In other words, each slice of the pie is relative to the size of that category in the group as a whole. Our next chart is also the same with the pie chart. A circle shape. What do you think is this? A donut chart, mom! Very good! What is the difference between a donut chart and a pie chart? A donut chart is almost identical to a pie chart, mom, but the center is cut out. Pie charts are used to compare the contribution of its value to a total. Donut charts are used to compare the contribution of its value to a total while containing multiple numeric data series. Wow! Very well said! The next type of chart is bar chart. What can you say about this chart? Ma'am, this type of chart represents the magnitude of the value. A bar chart or bar presents categorical data with rectangular bars with heights or lengths proportional to the values that they represent. Wow! Very extensive answer! How about our next type of chart? The area chart. What is the characteristics of it? An area chart is used to show relative importance of values over a period of time, ma'am. Very good! An area chart represents the change in one or more quantities over time. Area charts are used to represent cumulated totals using numbers or percentage over time. Use the area chart for showing trends over time among relative attributes. What are the other chart types that we have not discussed? Bubble chart, mom. XY scatter chart, mom. Stock chart, mom. Surface chart, mom. Radar chart, mom. Thank you, my dear learners. There are a lot of charts that you can use in Microsoft Excel. All you have to do is analyze what chart is appropriate to present your data because not all chart is applicable from one data to another. Just don't hesitate to explore, insert, and try it. To learn more about these charts, Read your learning activity sheets after this broadcast and of course, you have to watch the live discussion 
for more examples of charts. I will be back after this reminder. Hello, good morning. Good morning, ma'am. I have just finished accomplishing the task found in my module. How can I send you my outputs for checking and feedbacking? Oh, that's a nice question. There are actually three ways for a student like you to submit your outputs. One, it could be via online. That is, if you are capable to connect online. You can just upload your outputs in your Google Classroom or you can take pictures and send them through your group chat or messenger account. Ma'am, how about if we do not have internet connection? If you do not have internet connection, you can submit your accomplished tasks in two ways. One, you can ask your parents to submit your outputs in the designated drop-off center. Two, you can save your outputs if you have available flash drive, CD, or DVD at home and submit it in the designated drop-off center in your respective barangay. Wow! It's nice to know that there are varied ways on how we can submit our accomplished task. Always remember, for submission of outputs, you can do it via online, offline, or physical submission. Because at dance, we make amazing things possible. Kayo nakikinig sa PLE Grade 7. Kasama si Teacher Catherine S. Galingkana. I'm back! How can we insert a chart? What is the first thing that we have to do? We have to select the cells that you want to insert, ma'am. Good answer! The first step that we have to do if we want to insert a chart is to select the cells that we want to chart. We have to include the column titles and row labels because these cells will be the source data for the chart. How about the next step? The second step is to click the Insert tab, ma'am. The third step is to click the Desired Chart command. Very good answer! After choosing the desired chart from the drop-down menu, presto! The selected chart will be inserted in the worksheet. If, for example, you are not sure about what chart to be used, you can click the Recommended Charts command and it will suggest several different charts based on the source data. Ma'am, can we change the color of the inserted chart? How? Very good question! Yes, you can change the color or even the appearance of the inserted chart. Do you know how? Ma'am, in your chart, click to select the chart element that you want to format. On the Format tab under Chart Tools, you can do the following. One click the Shape Fill drop-down menu. This is used to apply different colors, gradient, picture, and texture to the selected chart element. Wow! You are really exploring, my dear learners! You can also change the lines surrounding the element by using the Shape Outline drop-down menu. If you want to apply effect to the selected chart element, like shadows, bevels, or 3D rotation, you can use the Shape Effects drop-down menu. Wow! That's great, ma'am! Yes! And I guess you can do it. All you have to do is read the given learning activity sheets to you and try the given steps for you to be able to produce a very unique and artistic chart. Did you understand, my dear learners? Yes, ma'am. There are many options that we can use in changing the appearance of our chart. I'm so excited to change my chart, ma'am. Nice to hear that. You can apply your creativity when you insert chart, like color combinations, text color, and style. Okay, 
Let us proceed to chart elements. The different parts that make up a chart are referred to as chart elements. Chart elements give more descriptions to your charts, thus making your data more meaningful and visually appealing. Will you name one element of column chart? Mom, in the column chart, there is a title. Yes, you are right. What is the text that we have to put in the title element? Mom, in the title element, we put the name of the chart, Mom, and a brief description of the content of the chart. Very well said! A chart title usually appears above the main plot area and provides a sufficient description of the chart. Title object provides attributes which help in setting content, appearance, and position of the chart title. What is the next element? The next element is the plot, mom. This refers to the area on the chart that displays the data in the chart type you choose. Correct. What else? The next element of chart that you can see in the column chart is the data point. This is a piece of data appearing on the chart. This shows the value of the contents of one cell in the data range linked to the chart, mom. Very good! The next element is legend. This shows the kind of data represented in the chart. By default, the text that appears in the legend is taken from the chart's data range. What can you say about the series element? This refers to the set of related data, mom. A chart can have one or more series. Each chart type displays series differently. Very good! You can learn more about the elements of chart by reading your learning activity sheets and watch our live discussion. Now, let us discuss the elements of X and Y chart. The X and Y chart is similar to line charts but does not have lines. XY chart should be used when you want to compare two sets of values for each series. What can you say about the scattered XY chart? A scatter or XY charts are typically used for showing and comparing numeric values like scientific, statistical, and engineering data, ma'am. Correct! It combines X and Y values into single data points and shows them in irregular intervals or clusters. Do you understand, my dear learners? Yes, ma'am. It is not only in math that we have X and Y, but also in the computer. It is specifically charts. Yes, just like in mathematics, X and Y chart contains different values but when they are combined, they create another value, another single data point. The other elements will be discussed during the live streaming. Do you have any question or clarification about the elements of chart being discussed? None, ma'am. Alright. The next thing that we will discuss is how to modify the inserted chart. Once your chart appears in Excel, there are many ways to modify the way it looks and its location. In all cases, you have to select the chart first to see the context-sensitive ribbons like design, layout, and format. How can you add a label? Mom, to add any label, for example, for the title or access, use the chart tools layout ribbon, ma'am. Ma'am, we can also change the chart type, data, or location from the chart tools design ribbon. You can select an element on the chart. For example, a series. Then choose the format selection icon in the current selection group. In the format dialog box, you can change the shape, style, and color. Always click OK in the dialog box to apply the changes you want to apply. Do you have any question? None, ma'am. Alright. I think I have given you enough information about inserting chart 
and you said you don't have questions. Can we proceed now to our activity? Yes, ma'am! Okay, let's proceed to our activity. Turn your learning activity sheets on page 5, activity 1 labeled matching type. Directions. Match the definition in column A with the types of chart in column B. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Let us answer question number one. This chart shows the proportion of individual items in the complete whole. What is it? Letter A chart, mom. You are correct. It is a chart. Question number two. It is a powerful tool that allows you to visually display data in a variety of different chart formats. What is your answer? Letter B, pie chart, ma'am. Excellent! The answer is pie chart. Question number three. This is what you need to click to apply a different fill color, gradient, picture, or texture to the chart element. What is your answer? Letter C, shape fill, ma'am. You are correct. It seems that you really listened to our discussion. You may answer the rest of the activity after this broadcast. For activity 2, you are going to label the parts of the column chart given in your learning activity sheets on page 5. You are going to write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Let us answer number 1. The arrow is pointing on the words first quarter sales. What part of chart is this? Title, ma'am. Very good. Let us answer number two. The arrow is pointing at the area that displays the data. What part of chart is this? Plot, ma'am. Very good. You may answer the rest of the activity after this broadcast. Let us have a recap on what we have discussed today. What can you say about our topic for today? Our topic for today is about working with chart, ma'am. Can you say something about chart? A chart is a visual representation of data from a worksheet that can bring more understanding to the data than by just looking at the numbers, ma'am. What are the types of chart that we discussed? We discussed the column, line, pie, donut, Bar, area, and XY charts, ma'am. Yes, you are correct. It sounds like you really learned a lot, and I thank you for that. To check your learnings today, I would like you to answer this question. How important chart is? A chart makes the information clearer, ma'am. Very good. What else? A chart makes the information more visible because by just looking at the chart, you know already the percentage, the amount, and the number on it because there is already label and title, ma'am. Very good answer. What do you think is the importance of chart in Microsoft Excel? Do you think it will help you save time when analyzing data? Why? Mom, a chart is a tool you can use in Excel to communicate data graphically. Charts allow your audience to see the meaning behind the numbers, and they make showing comparisons and trends much easier. Very good answer! Congratulations, dear learners! Indeed, we have a wonderful day today. If you have questions on how to do the remaining activities, feel free to send a message or call your teacher in ICT7. I hope you enjoyed our lesson for today and you have mastered all the concepts discussed. Thank you for staying with me. I would like to thank the teachers behind this RBI lesson Teacher Joy L. Madamba, our technical specialist. Teacher Annabel C. Acupido, our language editor. Teacher Ryan Neri P. Bakud. And Sir Jefferson F. Aguinaldo, 
Head Teacher 3 of PLE Department, our content editors. And I am Teacher Catherine S. Galingana, script writer of this RBI lesson, and of course, your radio teacher for this hour saying, have a blessed and wonderful day. Always remember that we can make our learning fun and easy if we have a positive mindset that we can do it. God bless and stay safe, everyone. Bye! Nang makakapigil pa Sulo Arangkada 106.3 Dance -da -da Radio Sa Aurora Isabella Edukasyo'y susulong Sana magtulong-tulong Susulong itong kalitan Dance Radio We are back. We are back, my dear students. It's time for the live streaming. And it's time to deepen the things that you heard in our RBI lessons. Are you ready, my dear students? Uh, I think they are all ready, ma'am. Kasi we actually have 59 viewers kanina. Nasa yes. 61 siguro. Yes. Pabalik pa lang yung mga iba. Uh, wow, medyo madami tayong ano ngayon. Viewers, so sana mas madagdagan pa mamaya. Ayan, 61 na. 61. Okay, sana nga Ma'am Joy. Anyway, let us start our lesson. Ma'am Ryan, what are the things that we discussed last week? Okay, so last week, um, our last lesson was about the workbook and worksheet. How to save a workbook, how to rename a worksheet, and how to resize the rows and columns within the worksheet. Worksheet composed of cells. It is arranged in rows and columns while workbook contains worksheet. One workbook can contain a lot of worksheets. So, para yes. siyang book. And, Ma'am Ryan, Microsoft Excel is an example of spreadsheet. It is composed of rows and columns. The working area of Microsoft Excel is called cells. You can add Insert and rename worksheets. The collection of worksheets is called workbook. It has only one <laughs> file name, but it has a lot of worksheets inside with different names. Okay. okay, for today, we will be discussing topic that I know very helpful for the students. This topic is not only for ICT-7, but also applicable to any year level or any profession. Okay? So, Ma'am Flory, ano ba ang ating objective for today? Alright, Ma'am Kathy, our objectives for today are the following. Okay, so, one, uh, define chart. And then two, identify the different chart types and different elements of charts. And three, discuss the different options in formatting inserted chart. Yes, thank you, Ma'am Flory. And actually, mga Ma'am, Kahit hindi student, pwedeng manood, hindi lang to pang grade 7 or ibang learners. Kahit hindi learners, kahit sinong uh, viewers, pwede manood dahil makakatulong to sa kanilang lahat. Yes, ma'am, because this topic is for all. Pwede rin makinig yan yung ating mga teachers na medyo nalilito sa paggamit ng spreadsheet. And of course, our dear parents. Our topic is not just for specific grade level, so as long as you are interested, you can listen or watch so that you can get new learnings and new informations and new insights about many things. Gaya nga lang lagi natin sinasabi, TLE is skill-based. Yes! Lahat ng topic natin sa TLE department is applicable to yes. everybody. Kahit hindi lang pang 
kahit na anong year level, kahit mga nasa bahay, all the topics that we are discussing in TLE is really applicable, di ba? Like the cookery. Yeah. Lahat naman tayo nagluluto, di ba? Yeah. Beauty care. How Lahat to take naman. care of yourself. Ano pa ba yung topic natin? Um, electronics. Ayan, diba? para electronics kahapon, saka electronics electrical, sila kahapon. para alam yes. mo yung ginagawa mo sa mga appliances or yes. sa mga electrical wirings. Tapos automotive, of course. Yes, See, of if you course. love about cars, kahit wala kang sariling sasakyan, natututo ka dyan. Oo, bago ka pa mag ng sasakyan, alam mo na kung anong gagawin mo. Advance ka mag-isip, di ba, Ma'am Ryan? Yes, ah. Yes. Yes. Have, we, we all have to dream big. Preparation yun. Yes. For Preparation for Okay, bibili na ako ng gulong. <laughs> <laughs> Parang dito sa ICT, it doesn't necessarily mean that you, don't, you do not ka. have a computer eh, hindi ka na matututo. That's a no-no. Lalo yes. ngayon, technology era tayo ngayon. Yes. Okay, to start the ball rolling, I want to show some pictures and let the students type their idea about the pictures about the pictures, they will type their comment in the comment box. Okay, nandito yung format. You can type or you can share your idea about the the picture that we are going to show by by following this hashtag. Hashtag ICT chart, your name, your grade, grade and section, and of course, your answer. Okay, this is the first picture. Okay. Ayan. Any Ayan. idea? Parang na late ang ating maghihintay tayo because late ang ating... Any guess, my dear students? Siya, Any guess? Mayroon akong nakikita ang aso, picture, may nakikita rin akong letters. Ikaw, Ma'am Ryan, ano ang iyong nakikita? Okay, so nakikita ko dyan, chart ng alphabet. Ang layo ng tingin mo, Ma'am, mayroon ka sa harapan. Ay, oo nga pala. <laughs> Uh, ayun, tinitingnan ko kasi malaking screen doon, ay malaking monitor doon, tapos may monitor pa nga pala dito sa harapan ko. So, we, I, I can see there the chart. Yes. Ano kaya ang kanilang idea regarding this chart or picture na, pina, pina, na, naka, na sa screen natin? I repeat, okay. use the okay, hashtag may ICT chart name grade section and answer. Okay, merong sumagot si Karil Felaciano, 7 Archimedes. So, hindi niya pinalo yung ating format. Ang sagot niya, hashtag working with chart ang nilagay niya. Okay, sino pa kaya? Meron pa. Nicole Corpus. Jasmine, ah, wala naman. Jasmine Pasileo, hashtag ICT chart 7 Archimedes letters. We also have Liza Orifon, sabi niya, hashtag ICT chart, 7i Archimedes, an X and Y chart. Okay, sa mga nagsagot, mga anak, thumbs up para sa inyong lahat. Ayan, okay. sumagot din ma'am si Pia Mona Bumanglag ng 7 Galileo. Ito ang para sa iyo. Okay, thumbs <laughs> up. Okay, next si picture. Brent, Ay, sorry. Uh, Gonzales ng 7 Gali Galileo. Letters din sa kanya, ma'am. Okay. Isang malaking thumbs up para sa inyong mga sumagot. Okay, next picture. What can you say about this picture? Ano ang iyong nakikita, Ma'am Joy, sa picture na nasa screen? Okay. May mga letters din siya, Ma'am. And may mga pictures per yes. column and rows. Meron din siyang nakalagay. Kanina, A, B sila yung nakita natin. Ngayon na, meron na siyang kasama yung mga letters. N, D. N, K. N, T. Ano kaya ang idea ng mga students dito sa picture na Talagang ito? Talagang na, na-apply mong pagiging mother mo sa ating yes. lesson ngayon, Ma'am Ma Kati. Kasi naririnig ko yan sa aking anak, di ba? Okay, ang kanilang answer is alphabet chart. According to Jan Soilo de Guzman, ICT, Jan Soilo de Guzman, 7 Archimedes, alphabet chart, sabi niya. Okay, sino pa? Sino pa? Uh, kay Rosalina Cassandra Bau ng 7 Newton. Alphabet chart din yung sagot niya, ma'am. Kay Gio Lintao, 7 Archimedes, hashtag ICT chart title, sabi niya. Okay. John Silo de Guzman, hashtag ICT chart, 7 Archimedes, number 2, ending blends. Ang kanyang sagot. At dahil sa inyong mga sagot, isang malaking Thumbs up para sa inyong mga anak. Okay, next. 
How about this one? Any idea about this picture? Oh, ang sarap na nakita ko. Niya. May nakita akong word dyan na <laughs> hindi ko alam kung paano ko gagawin, di ba? Yung word na yun. Diet. <laughs> Diet, di ba? Hala, parang ayoko no, nung mag-diet sa mga pagkain na yan. No, need to i-apply yan kay Ma'am Joy. Later ka pa pwedeng mag-diet, Ma'am Joy. You need to eat a lot of healthy food. According to, to na, okay, may sumagot. According to Natasha Perlton, ICT chart, uh, Natasha 9 Darwin, pie chart, sabi niya. Sabi rin ni Sarah Litan, pie chart. According to Jai Kamei, Pasilaw, Seven, I, seven Archimedes, diet chart. Okay. Si Nicole Corpo, Seven Archimedes, uh, pie chart din. Jamie Abad, Seven Galileo, pie chart din. Okay. Dahil dyan sa mga sumagot, isang malaking thumbs up again. Thumbs up again, Very mga good. anak. Natutuwa Very good. Na, natutuwa naman ako sa mga grade 7. Diba? Active na active ang mga estudyante niyo, Ma'am Florine ma. and Ma'am Joy. Okay. Thank you so much, my dear students, for your particip participation. Our topic for today is about... Ay, meron pa pala. Sorry, meron pang isang chart. Any idea, mga anak, about Ay, this last, ito, ma eh, last picture? Yes, oh, napapanahon. Ma Pero... Na Yung mga tao na nandyan, hindi na nila panahon. Oo. Oh, diba? <laughs> Nakalipas. What can you say about Oo. this picture? Ito yung nakaraan sa mga. Oo. Oh, oh. pa, oh. Kasi nandyan pa si... Miriam. Oo. Oh, oh. so, <laughs> ano na siya? Pa, uh, uh, she already passed oh, away. Late, yes. Oo. Oh, oh. Si Duterte so, nandyan pa. Ay, si President Duterte nandyan pa. Hindi na siya kasali ngayon. Out na siya. Old na siya. Okay. So what can you say about this picture? Last picture that we have. Okay, tignan natin ang answers nila. Sabi ni si Jan Zolio. Okay. Jan Zolio de Guzman ng uh, Seven Archimedes voting chart. Wow. Kay Sheki Nakachola Bakiran voting chart. Jan Zolio, napaka-active nitong bala. Voting chart. Sanjiro Nitura, Nitura ng 7 Newton vote chart. Parang pamilyar tong Sanjiro Nitura na ito. Anak ni Ma'am Lorilin. Lorilin oh, Nitura. Ah, kapatid ni... Ay, yeah. Okay, voting chart according to Jens Rian Domingo. Okay, dahil dyan, another malaking thumbs up para sa inyo mga anak. Thank Good you for job, your participation. Grade 7 and the Para other learners na yes. sumagot. Grade 7 and grade 9, thank you so much. Okay. okay. So, for today, we are going to discuss about the topic working with charts. Actually, inserting chart is not only found in Microsoft Excel. Kasi sa grade 7, ang topic nila ngayon is Excel, di ba? Excel, sorry. Excel. So, dahan-dahan tayo sa pagsasabi ng word na yun. Kasi minsan, nada-divert, napupunta siya sa science. Excel. Okay. Excel. Excel. okay, sa computer, Excel. Short for excellent. Okay? So, the chart is not only for Microsoft Excel, but it is also applicable, or you can also use the Microsoft Word Office. This topic is not only for grade 7, ulitin ko, but also applicable to other year level or other professions who want to learn. Yes, Ma'am Joy? Okay. So mga ma'am, I think before we start, mas maganda kung i-define muna natin yung word na chart. Ano nga ba ang meaning nito? Alright ma'am Joy, so when we say chart, uh, it is a, a visual representation of data from a worksheet that can bring more understanding to the data by just looking at the numbers. Yes ma'am okay. Flory, and according to Google, chart is very useful in presenting data, may it be percentage or area or portion of something, if it is easier, it is going to be easier to be understood if it is presented through chart. Yes. Excel is very helpful in inserting chart. Kahit madaming data, kayang-kaya sa Microsoft Excel because Microsoft Excel has many cells composed of rows and columns also. Tayong mga teachers, we are also using it sa item analysis natin. May part dun na chart, di ba? Yes, ma'am. Kaya nga... natin yung pumapasa. Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. Kaya nga sa ating mga teachers, chart is very import important, especially if we have to interpret some data. Using chart kasi, it is going to be easy 
Uh, mas madali siyang maintindihan. In a glance, alam mo na agad ang percentage ng data kasi nga nakalabel na. Gaya nga nang nabanggit mo kanina, ma'am, um, very particular tayo in learning, na, uh, in having the information of the percentage ng mga estudyante na nakakapasa, hindi nagsasubmit ng outputs, yes, mga ganyan. Kaya, tandaan, kailan uli ang submission ng outputs, ma'am? Bukas. Okay, so wag kalimutan. Bukas ang pasahan ng, Bukas ng, ang, ng umaga. umaga. Yes. So, sa lahat ng mga may blanco dyan or mga nalilate na mag-submit ng output, broadcasted po again, please do submit your outputs tomorrow. Okay. Yes. Asan na tayo? Ma'am Flory? Sa students naman natin, the encounter chart aside sa computer subject, meron din sa math. Diba? Meron din sa research. Naririnig natin yan palagi, Ma'am Joy. Yes. Okay, if you are to search a picture of chart in the web, there are many charts that will appear like this example. So, madali lang maghanap ng chart, ng example. Alimbawa, yung pinakita natin kanina, yung behavior, yung first chart natin, na sabi ko may letters A, B, C, hanggang to the last letter. Ang title nito is Behavior Management and Subject Specific Teaching Chart. So, they are using this chart for the young ones, yung mga bata natin sa kinder. Actually, kahit hindi kinder age, as long as kaya nang magbasa. Means, oh, ito yung starting, starting ano, uh, reading, reading materials beginners. natin. Tama? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, nandito kasi yung mga ibig sabi, uh, mga letters and of course kung ano yung example ng letter na yan. Another is yung ending blend chart. Yung pinakita ko rin kanina. Okay? Pinakita natin to kanina. Bakit naging dalawa na? They are also using this. Nakikita ko ito sa anak ko. Because my, my daughter is a kinder too. So, meron silang ending blend chart dito. Meron sila yung mga sound na ch, ch, mga ganon. Uh -oh. Yung, so, ito na yung, ano yung mga words na, nag, eh, na merong NP, ano yung mga words na merong MP, PT, ano yung sound. So, they are using this ending blend word chart. We also have, of course, kanina, this is also another example of chart na pwede nyong ma-download or makita sa internet underweight diet chart. Okay, so ay, hindi ko na dito sa underweight diet chart na to, sabi nga nung bata kanina, it's a pie chart. So merong anong oras, 9 a.m., ano ang iyong kakainin, ano equivalent total fat niya, 11 o'clock ano ulit ang kakainin mo, ano equivalent calcium niya. So these are example of chart that we can download in our or in the internet. Yes, Ma'am Joy? Okay. Actually, Ma'am, there is a lot of sample charts in the net. One click away and there's already the answer. Alam mo naman si parang Google, maraming alam at maraming uh, connections. So, always check Google lang. Okay, Ma'am Ryan? Okay. So, we can see a lot of charts in the web. But even if we are not going to open the internet, we can see a lot of examples around us. Lalayo pa ba tayo? Dito nga sa school, we have a lot of charts. So, we have the organizational chart wherein you can see all the teachers, the admins, the non-teaching personnel. Nandun lahat, nakalagay pa nga yung mga iba't ibang information uh, with regards to them. Kaya pag may question about the teacher position, pwede mo lang tignan yung organizational chart. Yes, yung mga students na ang dating classroom ay yung LRC. They can also see the, um, I think may mga chart doon dati na nakalagay, enrollment for three years, dropouts ng for three years, nakalagay lahat doon. So, here inside the campus na lang, marami na talaga tayong example. So, those students na now, yung mga grade 8 ngayon, 8 hanggang, I know, grade 9 and 10, they are already familiar kasi napasok na nila tong campus. Alam nila, doon pa lang sa pagpasok sa may... Admin ba yun? Dito sa may hallway, pupunta sa admin. I think may mga chart doon eh. Yung mga officers, those are examples. Pero yung mga grade 7 and 8, you just check your learning activity sheets. Yes, okay. Ma'am Flory? Pati sa ano, Ma'am? Pati sa mga different learning areas. Pag pumunta ka sa mga offices ng uh, different learning areas, meron din dyan mga nakalagay na 
organizational charts. Kung sino yung uh, department head, uh, tapos yung mga ano doon, yung mga teachers lear, uh, teaching doon sa particular uh, learning area. Yes. yes, kaya nga medyo excited ng ating mga sa grade 7 and grade 8 learners na <laughs> magkaroon sure. ng face-to-face -face kasi sila ang kulang pa sa um, experience na mag ikot dito sa Doña Aurora. Okay, so ku, ku, dahil hindi pa naman kayo nakakapasok dito sa loob ng campus at wala kayong internet, you can check out your learning activities sheets to see the different examples. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, mga ma'am, napapansin ko dito sa comment section natin, may mga ilang students na meron silang tanong. Yes, I saw Vixon. Mm -mm. Vixon Noel Centenaje and Natasha Perlton. Meron silang tanong. Ano yung tanong nila, Ma'am Ma Ryan? Ang tanong nila? Ay. Yes, Ma'am Joy. Ano yung tanong nila? Okay. Uh, napapansin ko, Ma'am, ang tanong nila is what is the difference between chart and graph? Yes, Actually, sabi ni Tracy Ann Santiago Bulilan. Ma'am, what is the difference of chart and graph? Okay. What is the difference? Naririnig kasi natin yan, di ba? Yes. yes. Sa math, sa ano. Ano bang interesting na tanong yan ang active ng ating mga estudyante. Dapat masagot natin yung tanong na yan. Okay. Natin. Here's the difference. Ano ang chart, Ma'am Ryan? According to meaning. Okay. So, uh, according to Ay, our kapala. presentation, a graph is a type of chart which is used to show the mathematical relationship between varied sets of data by plotting on its horizontal or the x-axis and the vertical or the y-axis. Ang chart naman, according to meaning, it represents information that can be in the form of a diagram, table, or graph itself. And it comprises various methods for presenting large information. So, pag sinabi natin, uh, population, medyo madami yun. So, we are using the chart. Yes. Okay, next. How about in the subset, Ma'am Ryan? So, in the subset, all uh, graph is being defined as all graphs are charts. So, ganun pala yun, Ma'am Kati. So, lahat wala ng graph, yung tawag din ay chart. It means that no matter which type of graph one uses to display to display the data it will be a type of chart subset always yes Pero, ang, mm -mm. ang chart naman all charts are not graphs it means there can be other types of charts that are not graphs yes. so ang graph is only under the it's chart. other type of chart okay yes. next how about in data analysis if we are going to pertain about data analysis, a graph can be used for raw data as well as provide a visual representation of trends and changes in the data over a period of time. So, graph ang ginagamit if we want to show changes in some of the information na kailangang ipakita. Ang chart naman daw is ideal for those forms of data which can be easily structured or categorized into a small subset of a small and easily understandable figures. So, meron talaga silang pagkakaiba. How about the last one? I know. Number four, Ma'am Ryan? Graphs. According to usage, graphs find their usage more in analysis using both raw data and exact numbers and as such shows accurate numerical figures plotted on its axis. So, kapag exact. may specific uh, data kang ipapakita, numerical value, so you are to use the graph. Charts naman daw, chart finds their charts find their excess use in business presentations and in showing survey results. Example, pie charts are the most popular ones used in business presentation. So, pang malakihang talagang output. While in the graph, specific. Okay. Number five, Ma'am Ryan. For the trend analysis, a graph is an ideal choice for those data which depicts some sort of trend or relation between variables depicted on the graph. 
while char, charts can be used in those cases also where data shown is not depicted any trend or relationship. And of course, the last one is? Common type. So for the graphs, the most common type is the line graph and the bar graph. And chart, popular chart types are pie chart, histogram, vertical, and horizontal bar chart. Okay, dahil dyan, Natasha and Vixon and Trisha, Tracy, I hope we, we, we deliver or we explain the difference of chart and graphs. Okay. Di ba, Ma'am Brian? Yes, Kang so na-answeron na rin yung tanong mga iba dyan kasi marami talagang nagtanong, hindi lang yung tatlong bata na oh, yan. Actually, ang dami nagtanong. Okay, thank you so much. Ma'am Flory? Alright, so, uh, ang chart talaga is very useful. Makikita yan natin kapag halimbawa sa mga balita, di ba ma'am? Uh, especially sa mga sa budget dito sa ating government. Uh, nakikita natin uh, yung malaking uh, percentage ay napupunta sa ed education, katulad halimbawa niyan. 16.11%. And then yung public works natin, 13.27. So, sa yung chart na yan, pinapakita, uh, by merely looking at the chart, makikita mo na talaga kung saan napupunta yung uh, budget dito sa... Uh, yes. uh, Kasi yung yes. color pa lang, di ba? Mm -hmm. Yung color, ay, ang laki nung red. Ay, yung others. Yung others. Okay. Kaya, so, um, dear learners, huwag naman nating sayangan yung fund ng government na binibigay sa atin. Mag-aral kayo. Imagine, um, no, pandemic. Pero the Department of Education, our government tried its best, best to deliver education even at your home. Okay. Yes. So, pag nag-face-to-face -face tayo, pwede natin yung pa-activity to o sa grade 7 sa Saturday, pwede mo pa. They will oh, make a pie chart of the uh, time, how they manage their time. Time kasi, management. Uh, Oo, oh, kasi nasa bahay lang sila ngayon eh. Hindi naman natin pwedeng sabihin kung face-to-face -face sana, we can ask them to to show the pie chart of their budget per day. Allowance ba? Uh, allowance per day. Ano yung pinakamalaki? Ngayon naman, nasa bahay lang sila, so time lang. Ano kayong binibigyan money. niya pinakamalaking portion? Yung diba? iba walang baon. Uh -huh. <laughs> yung mga anak ko, hindi ko binibigyan ng pera. Oh, ano kayo sa bahay lang portion sila. sa kanila? Na-stack na, 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 naman sila, na-stackan mo naman sila ng merienda, madam. So, para may apply natin yung learning natin about uh, charts, dito sa inserting charts dito sa ating Excel, ayan. Uh, I-explore nila kung paano gagawa ng chart sa pamamagitan ng time management nila. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, okay, we also have this. Saturday. Oo, oh, 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 the grade 7 yan. Mm -hmm. Okay, meron din tayo, di ba ito, familiar tayo, daily COVID-19 cases in the Philippines. At huwag kayong matakot kasi last, ano pa to, last year. So, hindi na ganito kataas ngayon. Thanks God, hindi na ganyan kataas. Yes, dahil uh -oh. nga dyan, marami ng vaccinated na students ngayon. Antayin natin ang announcement ng face-to-face. -face. So, Donya Aurora is getting ready. Uh -oh. Hindi lang mga estudyante ang excited, pati na rin tayong mga teachers. So, marami yes. tayong makikitang chart na makikita natin actually sa news like the survey of the president. Ayan, yes. uulitin namin ha, <laughs> hindi po current yung ginamit namin yes. kasi um, Wala as comment teachers, uh -oh. Wala. Hin, dapat neutral lang tayong mga teachers. Uh -oh. Ayan, kaya ang ginamit, ginamit namin, namin yan yung nagamit um, yung previous elections. previous elections. Yes. Okay, so they are using the charts in comparing one candidate to another. Gaya nga ng sinabi namin, interpretation of data, bawal kaming mag-comment ng tungkol sa mga ganyan, kaya gumamit kami ng old. Go, old. But old. then you can previous see using the chart, malalaman nyo na agad kung sino ang may mataas na rating in percentage last Uh, presidential election. election. Okay. Yes. So, hayan, mga dear learners, we have given a lot of examples where you can see charts and we do use chart. And when do we use chart? We hope it is already clear to you, especially dun sa mga nagtanong kanina. Yes. So, we, we uh, also compared, ma'am, yung uh, chart at saka yung graph. Okay. At least now, sana ay clear na sa kanila kung ano yung difference ng okay. graph at saka eh, chart. Ma'am Kati, meron bang Tagalog term or Filipino term for chart? 
Wala naman. According to, kung pare mo si Google, ako mare ko siya. According to maring Google, wala naman siyang taga, di ba yung iba kasi talagang ibang word ang Tagalog niya. Sa chart naman, you will, di ba ang English na spelling ng chart is C-H-A-R-T. So, it, to make it Filipino, gagawin mo lang na T-S-A-R-T. Palitan mo yung C-H ng T-S. To make it chart. Okay, Pero the you, same pronunciation. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay, we have here the different pictures of types of chart. Okay, the first one, meron tayong bar, column, and line chart. Okay, kung makikita ninyo yung bar and column, pahalos pareho. Pareho silang box type, parang bahay lang, di ba box type? The bar chart can also, parang ka, ganun din sa column, nakatayo din, pero... Uh, ang column kasi hindi siya pwedeng maging parang bar. Okay? Na nakapahiga. Yung bar pwede rin siyang nakatayo kasi ang pinag-uusapan natin dito na bar is yung box type niya eh. Kaya siya tinawag na bar. Pero pwede rin siyang nakatayo. Okay? Bar and column charts are better for comparing larger changes or differences in data among groups. While line chart, they are useful for displaying smaller changes in a trend over time. So as you can see, the bar chart is partial box and also the column while the line chart is only literally line lang siya. Okay, next. Alright, so we also have pie chart and the donut. Uh, donut chart. A pie chart is a circular graph okay, that shows individual categories as slices or percentages of the whole. The donut chart is a variant of the pie chart with a hole in, the, in its center and, its dis, and it displays categories as arcs rather than slices. Okay, so kung ikukumpara natin yung dun sa pie chart, slices siya. Eh, dito naman sa donut, meron siyang butas sa gitna. Eh, tulad ng kinakain natin, di ba, na donut. May butas sa gitna. Pero, um, uh, pwede, yun nga sabi natin kanina, pwede natin i-present i- ang ating chart sa pamamagitan ng dyan. Alam, pa- Ma'am Flory, oh. ang dami nang i-message kanya. Niya, sige man. Basa, Kit, pa- ma'am. Pakibasa, man, Ra- Ma'am Ryan. Ma'am, sabi niya, sabi niya naman sa message niya sa akin, mabalin ka di aya nga, pakilawlawag man ata, pie chart kin, popular donut types kin eh, Ma'am Flory Linta, ma'am, medyo madikmawatan ko na naman eh. Ate ni kita intay laing inen dai ti pie chart di ba no gumatang tay ji palengke nya dai ti magatgatang tay nga pizza ada ti slices na di ba kaslakas dai iti panangyarig tayo iti pie chart ah uh, dear Mabudua, learners magudua gudua ah magudua gudua magudua gudua ito ta depende no anya iti data ma'am Ryan kas pangarigan dito ini ada ti Naka, na, naipakita dito ay nga pie chart example ko na na adati expenses kan amount itata di rent na 7,000 di grocery na kat mapan nga 3,000 datay transport mo at pamrayan adati 800 pesos car anati current ko na na kuryente na siguro ate ma'am inya kan 300 pesos ng tata baka nangat nga to ti kuryente ali no kasla Wain. no kasla pizza nga rod kit no napigsa ka nga mangan kit dak dak kel no ka bagi <laughs> wey nice so, na makita tay the giant giant chart tayo so dakkel nga porsyento kit na pan ijay renta so that data kit 7000 Okay. Donut meat kit, daabot na gayam na eh. Yes. Di donut meat, syempre, kasla di magatgatang tayo meat no ka Jayanti, kwa palengke, dami tata, da, 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 locally, na. locally bake nga, kwa at daabot na jay. Tinga, pero dami tayong iti portions na. Kaya tayo, um. madati ta ni glazed, chocolate, kunana, dati cream, kunana meat. Oh. Yes. Okay. According to colors. Okay, Ma'am Ryan? We also have the area chart. So, as you can see on the uh, screen, we have the area chart. An area chart combines the line chart and bar chart to show how one or more group's numeric values change over the progression of a second variable, typically that of time. An area chart is distinguished from a line chart by the addition of shading between lines and baseline, just like in a bar chart. Kaya pala shaded siya. 
Okay, Ma'am Joy? Okay, we also have scatter or X and Y charts. These are typically used for showing and comparing numeric values like scientific, statistical, and engineering data. It combines a uh, X and Y values into single data points and shows them in irregular intervals or clusters. Okay, there's a lot of chart actually na makikita natin sa internet. These are also some surface, surface chart, bubble chart, um, ra radar, and the stock chart. So, ang dami-dami natin dami example examples. ng charts. Types of chart. Talaga lang. Wow! Talagang siksikliglig. Umaapo, umaapaw na ang ating na-discuss about charts. But wait, students, our, our discussion is not yet Done. We have demonstration later on on, on how to insert and format the inserted chart. Kaya mag-prepare na ng inyong mga laptop. Anak, alam ko, most of our students in special science classes and SPJ have their own laptops. Pero just in case you do not have your laptop, meron din namang uh, naida-download na spreadsheet using their na phones. Yes. So that... Uh, you just need to listen and then you can explore later on. Yes, Ma'am Ryan. So, while waiting or while preparing for their laptop, let us test again kung nakikinig talaga ang ating mga learners. So, mamimigay ulit tayo ng load. First two to answer will have 20 peso load. So, Ma'am Flory, what is the question? Okay, ang question. What are the types of chart that we discussed? So, ang dami nun, Ma'am yes. Joy. Five na lang, Ma'am. Oh, five daw. Okay, yes. very generous. First to answer. First five to answer. No, first two oh, to first answer. first two to answer. Pero ang question, give Kailangan at least five. five. Ah, at least five. five. Kasi madami yun eh. Akala ko. Sige. Okay. O, clear lang natin. Dapat... Five, five ang ibigay nila na types ng charts na na-discuss natin. So, ang format natin ay hashtag ICT chart and then your name and, section. and then your section and then your answers, answers mo na five types of charts. Okay, exciting to. Okay, sino kaya yung mga nang, makakasagot? Abang, First abang. Two. Yes, tapos demonstration na tayo later. Pakiredy ang inyong mga laptop. Uh, okay. Madali lang naman mag- Okay. Nauna si Lorley Faye Orate <laughs> ng 9SPJ. So, ang binigay niya, One. line chart, bar chart, oh, naulit ang line chart, column chart, bubble chart. Uy, sayang. Look at the format, ma'am. Uh, uh, pa, tamang kanyang format, ma'am. Kaya lang na-doble niya See, na na-type oh, na ang line yes. chart. Same so, with Pelerita, Annabelle. Hmm. ICT, column, dapat name agad. 9th ICT chart, Tracy Ann. Hashtag ICT chart, Tracy Ann Bolilan, bar chart. Oh, hindi na nila inulit yung kanilang section because nailagay na nila sa taas. Mm -hmm. Si Pelierita, <coughs> tama siya, lima talaga yung naibigay yes. niya. Oh. Can we consider? Oh, ma'am. Okay. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma may mga lang na sila sa taas and section, oh, oh. nag-automatic sila. So, the first two, si Lori Lee, uh, hindi siya accepted. Hindi siya accepted. Kasi One, kulang na Celerita isa. and Tracy Ann, Bolilan. Santiago, One, two, Bolilan. Three, four, five. So, sila yung mga nakakompleto ng sagot yes. na. Yes, Pero, of course, Charts. huwag namang manghinayang yung isa. Siguro, hindi niya napansin na naitayot niya. Hingi ka na lang ng special point sa yung teacher. Total, you have participated and tama rin naman yung mga ibinigay. Okay, so yung yes, mga students, students ko from 7 Archimedes and 7 Newton, uh, wag mapanghinaan ng loob na hindi kayo ang nakakuha ng 20 yes. peso load. Pero, uh, yung mga answers ninyo na na-screenshot ninyo will be considered as your performance output. Wow. At dahil dyan, well, 70% ang ating oh, performance. Isang malaking thumbs up mga anak. And ma'am, same with 7 Galileo and 9 SPG. And so, same with my grade 9 SSC students. Lang. Ako nga, si SS9 and okay. si SS10. Excited na akong mag-demo ma'am. Additional points sa mga nag-join sa... Uh, ang mga live discussion. Okay, excited na ako mag-demo, ma'am. We are going to demonstrate how to insert Microsoft Excel chart. So, dapat naka-open na yung Excel, mga anak. Ayan, okay. panoorin ng mabuti. So, as you can see, screen. already he, sa screen natin, meron na tayong Excel. So, meron na akong automatic data. Prinipare ko na para mas mabilis tayo. So, here's the data. Meron tayong names, which, which, 
Quiz 1, Quiz 2, Quiz 3, and the total. Itong mga pangal na to, si Kuku, si DJ, si Teams, at si Raven. I know our students are already familiar with this because these are the, I think, five names of popular ML player. Ay, ganun. Uh -oh. Si Pani kasi ang kilala ko. Okay. Si Pani lang. Kasi hindi sila, hindi. Ako nga Pani. walang kilala. Ako lang yung kilala. Ma'am Jay, hindi ka nag-iisa. Sige I just search. Ako, okay. Hindi daw yun na name. Uh, si Pani daw is hero. Okay, so this is the sample data that we need to insert a chart. So the first thing that we have to do, of course, dapat nakatype na. So nakita ninyo may mga formats. Is that format uh, carry o mag magiging format din, din, din ba siya sa chart or hindi? Let's try to observe. So, una, the first una. thing is you have to highlight the data. Okay. In-highlight yeah. ko, from the names up to the total hanggang sa number of Before items sa baba. Ano mo highlight ma'am? Kasi grade I 7 yun. I click the, I, I activate the cell, names, Selected. Oh, then okay. shift, then arrow, to the right, right then, then arrow, going down, arrow down, down, hanggang sa number of items. Okay, and control, then, arrow keys ang ginamit ni Ma. Yes, Keyboard pwede rin naman ang mouse. Pag pwede mouse, rin ang mouse. I-click mo lang dun sa unang cell na kailangan mo i-highlight, then, then click drag. and drag hanggang dun sa last na data na kailangan. Okay. Item. Ganun ang pag-select. Then we are going item. to click insert. Okay, click. Then and then the ribbon of the yun. insert will appear. And then, makikita ninyo agad doon yung charts. Biyan nakalagay recommended chart and then the different types of chart here. So, gusto kong gamitin ang column. Ayan, Click mo yung column, yung arrow. So, ang dami nang mag appear Click. As easy and, as that. Ayan na siya. Meron na tayong chart. Right. Nakikita ba ninyo si Kuku, si DJ, si Teams, at si Raven at ang number of items? Presto, nandyan na siya. Napakadali lang. Napakadali lang mag-insert ng chart. chart. Pagilid natin. So, yan lang siya. Okay. The chart, ma'am, bakit hindi na, na follow yung, binila, na, yung format na nandun sa Excel? Hindi niya talaga mapafollow. Nag-iba na yung kulay. Yung, ma'am, hindi, bakit hindi nakalagay yung second quarter quizzes? Hindi ko siya in-highlight, di ba? Ma'am, what if i-highlight? Okay, let's try to highlight. Burahin muna natin tong chart. Erase. Highlight natin. Isama natin second quarter. mag a ba siya? Let's try. Then, bar, column. nag a ba yung second quarter quizzes? No. So, yung chart type na yon, pwede nyo nang i-type dyan yung second quarter quizzes. Pero kung mapapansin ninyo sa okay. legend sa baba, so, isinawa uh -oh. niya as Nakasama part. siya. As okay. para siyang, o oh, nakalagay siya second quarter quizzes, one lahat second quarter, uh, lahat meron. Dinistride While kanina, niya. walang nakalagay na second quarter. Quiz, quiz one, one, quiz two, quiz three, ganun. Yes, okay. Ma'am, what about, so pwede nyo na lang i-type, i-click nyo lang sa may ito. Nakikita nyo ba yung aking dinadrag-drag? Okay. Text box ang ano Yes, natin. ang text box na yan, you just click it, double click, then you can type the title. Okay. Ma'am, what if naka-insert na ako pero nagbago-isip ko, gusto ko pala ng ibang klase? No, pwede naman. Pwede ba yun? Am I going to erase it and start selecting again or uh, meron lang akong i-click? Let us try. Change. So, nandito tayo. So, once na naka-select yung chart, nag-iiba yung laman ng ribbon natin. Yung laman ng ribbon natin, it's all about the chart. So, one, one option there is chart change chart type nandito sa bandang dulo so kung ano yung kiniklik ko na na icon may lumalabas na op, lumalabas yung content niya mga okay. anak tandaan kailangan na select so yung when chart. i click oh dapat naka-select yung chart and then sa taas once the chart is selected the content of the ribbon is all about the chart diba yung mga pwede mong i-apply so, one option there is char change chart type. O, i-click mo. Gusto ko ng line, ma'am. Or gusto ko ng pie. Then, click. Okay. Nagbago ba siya, ma'am, Ryan? Yes, na yes. Yan na. Yes. Nag nag naging... Makulay ang buhay. Makulay, naging bilog na bilog. Uh -oh. Ibig sabihin, yung kulay blue ay para kay Kuku. Yung kulay red ba yun? 
or orange that is for DJ and then yung yellow is for Raven and then number of items is the green Top so na yan ma'am ng ML ayun ang na nakita ko oh. <laughs> I'm Kaya not playing pala. ML okay oh. so can we change again yes ma'am pwede ulit ng bar then click okay oh, tandaan mga anak ha kailangan para parest kayo ng makikita ni ma'am Kati First rule, if you are going to edit the chart, you have make sure na na-select or na-click mo yung chart. Makikita so, mo yung box? sizing handles oh. nung, May nung ating chart. Doon. Kasi kapag hindi mo na-select yung chart, hindi magpapakita yung mga different elements of the chart that you can change yes. or you can format. Mama, ano pa yung mga pwedeng i-apply natin? Kung halimbawa, activated yung chart, you can click this, merong mga options dito, like chart styles. Oh, click mo lang yan yung parang brush dun sa gilid, and then you can choose. Oh, pwede mong palitan kung anong style ang gusto mo. Okay? So, as uh, while I'm choosing, nagbabago, di, nagbabago din yung chart na naka-insert. Yan. Habang nagmumove, yan. Okay. Ma'am, what else? What are the other options? Ikiklik mo lang, activated pa rin ha yung chart natin. Paano mo malalaman ulit na activated yung chart? Pag nakikita mo yung sizing handles, the sizing handles is located in every corner of the chart. It's either square or kung minsan bilog. bilog. So, you yes. have to notice that. Ma Kapag kayo pa nakikita yon hindi siya na select. Yes, ma'am okay, Joy. Ma Joy. Sige, ma'am Joy. Kaya okay, mo yan. Ma'am, uh, since pwede tayong mag-change ng, ano, ng chart, meron din ba siyang mga iba't ibang elements? Okay, meron din siyang mga iba't ibang elements. Thank you, ma'am Joy. O, mga students, ah, you explore how to change the different elements, the different, uh, the different parts of the chart later on. O, abang nanonood kayo while you are watching, pwede nyo nang gawin sa inyong mga bahay. O, ulitin okay. ko ha, yung assignment ninyo na sinabi ni Ma'am Florilina at ni Ma'am Joy, gagawa kayo ng... Uh, yes, Ma'am. We will give the specific instructions sa group chat namin later. Yes. So, dapat makinig kayong mabuti. Uh, ano to yung? be submitted on Saturday. Oh. Sa ating catch up. Siyempre naman, bibigyan mo sila ng time. <laughs> time, na yes. Okay, let's proceed to the different elements Ayan. of chart. The first one is the title, chart title. So, yun yung pinalitan natin kanina. Diba? Yung yes. quizzes. Okay, chart title, it, it shows the name of the chart. What is all about, what is the content. That's the chart title. How about the next part, ma'am? The second element is the plot area. So, ang plot area naman, this refers to the area on the chart that displays the data in the chart type that you choose. Plot, kumbaga, is the lote of the chart. So, this mm -hmm. is the chart where the chart is being placed. Yes. And of course, the third is the data point. So, nakikita ninyo, $78,000. Yun ang value nung kulay yellow na bar. Mm -hmm. Yun ay during June 17. That is the value of June 17 na, na nasa B supply, $78,000. Ah, okay. Yung pala yung tawag doon ng yung data point. Data Para point. Para ka lang ng gamot. So, halimbawa, hanggang dito pala ang 5 ml, tapos dito yung 10, 10 ml, dito pala yung parang label na Yes. So, yun yung hangganan o yung mm -hmm. boundary na tinatawag natin. Okay, so the next element is the legend. Saan makikita ang legend? Okay, so ang legend, it is uh, an explanation of characters or symbols, markings on a document that are usually unfamiliar to the reader. So, dito sa ating uh, screen, uh, Ma'am Cathy, saan makikita yung legend? Nandun siya sa right side. Okay, yun. Meron siyang label na legend. So, yung September 16, December 16, March 17, uh -oh. that is considered our legend. Kaya, ano ko lang yung, yung, what's this? Yung data point kanina. That shows the value, di ba? Sabi mo kanina, Ma'am ma 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 Joy. Yung 5 ml, 10 ml, that is in on how to drink medicine. Dito naman, it shows the value of that, of that legend. 
Kung halimbawa, yung, nasa, yung kulay yellow kanina, paano nalaman na 78? Wala namang nakalagay dun sa axis niya na 78. That is, um, it is less than or greater than, nakalagay kasi dun, na 80, uh, $70,000 to $80,000. So, we already, ang tawag dito, uh, hindi siya eksakto na nandoon, but it is, greater than 70 and less than 80. So, so nandun lang siya sa 70. kung natin, malapit na siya sa 80. Oh, Pero hindi siya na-reach sa 80. If we are 80. going to interpret that on June 17, so makikita natin, kitignan natin sa June 17 na legend. Okay, color. Malapit siya sa 80. Yellow. So, it is more than 70 na halos na sa mid siya. Nasa mid siya, halo, lagpas siya ng mid. So, lagpas na siya sa mid. More or less, Um, more than 75,000 yes. but less than 80,000. Okay, next next element. We have Yes, ma'am. As a legend also, marami tayong makikitang legend not only sa ating chart but also in the weather forecast. Diba sa weather forecast natin merong mga kulay-kulay doon, green, red, yellow. Pag red na ang kulay, ibig sabihin mat madami ng ulan. Pag yellow yata is moderate lang. So, makikita natin, the legend is not only for the chart, but also in other areas or yes, other things nga, that around meron us. Meron nga sa mga maps, ma'am. So, yes. naka-color coding yung mga different maps, kahit na yung atlas. So, kumbaga sa map ng Pilipinas, we have different colors for different regions. Or pwede rin naman na um, three colors for the island, per, for per. the Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao. Hindi pwede na pare-pareha sila ng kulay. Kasi yes. ang kinukan natin dito, ni ang um, ine-emphasize dito hanggang saan yung hangganan ng bawat area. Yes, Ma'am Flory, what is the fifth element? Okay, so the fifth element is the data series. This refers to the set of related data. A data series is a row or column of numbers that are entered in a worksheet and plotted in your chart. Such as a list of quarterly business profits. These are the values represented in the chart. Next, Ma'am Ryan. Another element is the chart area. Of course, from the word itself, alam na natin kung nasaan at saan ang chart area. Doon nakalagay si chart. Yes, so we also have uh, vertical and horizontal, I sorry, Ma'am, vertical axis, horizontal axis. The income is the vertical axis. And of course, yung customer is the horizontal axis. Yung income na nakalagay, that is vertical axis title. And yung customer, that is the horizontal axis title. So those are the elements of the chart. Okay, let's proceed to our activities. Okay, let's try. Pwede bang gawin na lang ito ng mga bata? Okay, let's answer. Let's answer. Number one, will you name the element of the chart? na nakalagay, kung saan nakalagay ang number one. Ano kaya ang pangalan nung naka-number one doon? Ma'am Ryan, ikaw, ano sa tingin mo? Number one? one. How do you like this product? Oo, oh, oh. anong pangalan nun? Ano kaya ang element yun? Pwede ba tayo magbigay ng clue? Okay. Ang pangalan niyan is the chart title. title. Nasagot yan ni Char Agonoy Espiritu. Okay, very good. Okay, chart Chart title, ganun din si Felirita. Okay, so okay, next number tayo. Two. Number yes, two. number two. Okay, ano yung number two natin? Ano ang pangalan ng number two? Okay, okay let us natin. see. We have, We have grid, grid lines. lines. Okay, number okay, three. Okay, number three. We have the plot, plot area. area. Ayan, tamang sagot ni PM. Oh, number three na yung plot area, no ma'am? Yeah. So, so okay. ang answer niya ay number two. So, mali pala siya doon. So, ang dami, di ba? Okay, let us summarize our topic, ma'am Ryan. Okay. So, we also discussed, ma'am Kati, the different elements of the chart. So, we have discussed title, plot, data point, series, and legend. Ma'am Joy? So, uh, ang dami nating na-discuss today, I hope nasunda ng mga bata, lalo na yung mga kung paano mag-insert at mag-modify ng chart. At sana nat na nasunda nilang lahat yun. But anyways, hindi naman po masama. Mag-explore lang sa kung meron tayong laptop, then yung Excel application. Pwede din sa Excel application sa cellphone. Sa cellphone. Oo, oh, yes. Okay. Explore, Mama, explore lang. Mama, So, our students will really learn 
learn. Uh, lalo na kapag mag-explore sila. For sure, may mga students dyan until now, tinatry mag-modify ng chart. Yes, tama ka dyan, Ma'am Brian. And to test if the st students really learn uh, something in our lesson, meron akong tinawagang estudyante. Siya si Sophia Abad. Anak, good morning. Okay. Good morning, anak. I have here a question. This is for our evaluation. Can you answer this question? What is the impact of this topic to you as a student? Does it help you and how? This has a very big impact on me, Paul, as a student because this topic taught me all about charts, like how to insert charts, but how to format, and even the elements. And charts allow me to get a clear picture of information, especially po as a visual learner. And yes, it does help me because in a way, it also allows me to show or present data in a more meaningful and understanding, understandable way for others po. Wow! Thank you so much, Sophia. Ang galing. Ang galing Anong grade and section niya, Grade 9, Pasture. Oh, thank you so wow. much, Anna. Later on, let's talk. Okay? Okay. Thank you so much, my dear grade 7, 8, 9, 10. Lahat ng nakinig. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong pakikinig. It's already time. We have to say goodbye. Mm -hmm. And I hope we will see you again next week. And for your reflection... Please answer or look at your learning activity sheets and answer your reflection. What do you think is the importance of chart in MS Excel? Do you think it will help you save time when analyzing data and why? Please send your reflection to your subject teachers and if you have questions, please uh, just give them a message. Send them a message. And again, thank you, thank you so much. And reminder, all your outputs, please prepare because Retrieval and distribution is tomorrow. Bye. Okay, bye. Station magbibigay information kahit sa man. Alright, here we go. 106.3 Dance Radio. Tonya Aurora National High School, Santa Rita Aurora Isabela. This 106.3 DWBR FM.